All right, you guys, so do check out how to make this intertwined blend effect here on Photoshop and Illustrator. So first I'm gonna start in Illustrator and I'm gonna use this model as a reference. Let's go to the layers and I'm gonna lock it. Let's create a new layer. And here we can go and select the pencil tool and double click on it. And let's go with these settings as here, fidelity on smooth and these options, click okay. And all you need to do is just draw lines around the model and it's gonna smoothen it out. You also can go to the object path and select smooth and simplify the path and make it even more curvier. This is actually pretty good. Also make sure that they are intertwining correctly around the model. For example, here it's not good. So I'm gonna go and select the direct selection tool and I'm gonna bring this area out and refine it here. And I'm gonna remove some of the pads. I'm gonna press and hold shift and click on it with the pen tool minus. So it's gonna smoothen it out. And for the reference, I'm gonna go with these four gradient circles and I'm gonna select all of it. Let's go to the object. Let's go to blend and select make. And we're gonna to need to make it more dense. So let's go here to the blend tool, double click on it. And let's go and select specified steps. I'm gonna increase it, for example, on 300. Click OK. And now let's go to the original image and I'm gonna select this stroke, press and hold shift and also select this gradient. And let's go to object, blend and select replace spine. And check this out. Now this is how it's gonna create this blend. Now, unfortunately it's gonna have a little bit of errors here and there, but I just gonna roll with it. All right, so let's go to Photoshop and import the image with the model into Photoshop. Let's go to the layer and press control J to duplicate. And we're gonna remove the background from the first layer. Click on remove background here. And now we're gonna go back to Illustrator and I'm gonna select this blend. By the way, I also forgot to tell you that you're gonna to need to make sure that these blends are separated from each other because previously it was like touching each other, which is not good. So I'm gonna press Control C. Let's go to Photoshop, press Control V, select Smart Object, click OK. And I'm gonna press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up. And I'm going to rename these layers. This is going to be the blend and the subject. Let's select the layer with the blend. Let's go ahead and mask it. And now what I'm going to do is press and hold control and click on the thumbnail at the mask at the subject layer. Click on it. So it's going to highlight the model and make sure to select the mask at the blend layer here. So now all you need to do is select the brush tool. Make sure that you're on the black. Let's go ahead and right click, increase the hardness all the way up. And here we're gonna go and remove some of the areas like so. You can decrease the brush size. For example, I'm gonna hide this one. And let's go and repeat this step all over the composition. There you go. Great. From here, press Control D to deselect. And we also gonna to need to add some shadows on these blends. So what I'm gonna do here is duplicate the layer with the blend. Press Control J to duplicate. And first I'm gonna rename it as shadows. Double click on the layer. And here I'm gonna add the drop shadows. I'm gonna activate use global light, change up the color to some dark gray, click OK. And I'm gonna go with the angle somewhere here maybe. Distance is gonna be 35. Also the size nice and high. Opacity somewhere around 70. Click OK. Now let's go to the layer with the blend shadows, right click and select convert smart object. Let's go and add a mask. And from here, I'm going to press and hold control and click on the subject mask right here and make sure to select the mask at the blend shadows. Now let's go and select the brush tool and then we're going to go to select inverse. And also make sure that you're on a black color. So I'm going to swap this and just start removing the shadows outside. You also can press alt backspace and this is going to remove all the unnecessary shadows. And pretty much that's it. This is how you intertwine a model here on Photoshop and Illustrator with Blend. Thanks for watching.